Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. So, the title of this reading is, What are his true feelings for me? So, for this reading, all you need to do is picture your person, imagine them in your mind, and then choose between these three sets of cards here. This is set of cards number one, this is set of cards number two, and this is set of cards number three. So, I'll just give you a moment to do that now. Okay, so right now I'm going to place aside set of cards number two and set of cards number three so that I can go ahead now with this set of cards number one. What are his true feelings for me? So this is going to be an in-depth relationship reading for you and the person on your mind to answer that question. So first of all, let's get these cards placed down. And I do just want to quickly mention, if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of the details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal. And I do offer a reading with a 24-hour turnaround, and that's seven days a week. Okay, so having said all of that, let's go ahead now. So you and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past, present, future together and the outcome card never to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted and here is our clarifying card so let's take a look you and your energies so okay immediately when we see the eight of wands this is uh, about uh, being expectant and hopeful and you know that energy of wanting to hear news okay it, it can represent very much as well because it's one's energy it's about having that face to face energy okay it's about something tangible it's about something that's real and um what what i'm also getting um is you know ultimately with this there is the flip side to that which is that you feel as though you're not truly expecting it right now, but you want it right now. Um, and so this is how you're feeling about your person. It, there's, there's a lot of passion coming from you. It's kind of like you, you just want to get the ball rolling. You want to get things moving. You want to, you know, you, you're very passionate about your person, okay? Now you or they could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. Let's continue. So they are being represented by the high priestess. So this is about keeping things under wraps, okay? This is about uh, not truly exposing how they truly feel. I want to immediately take three cards for them. Okay. Let's take three cards for them. So what is being hidden here? The justice energy, the empress, and the two of pentacles. So their true feelings for you right now are under wraps. This is why you're waiting, okay, and hoping for things to be out in the open, for the words to be spoken very much in a face-to-face -face manner, okay? So they have justice, the empress, and the two of pentacles. So be in no doubt, you are their empress, you know, this is about beauty, they find you exceptionally beautiful, um, this is the card of abundance, justice and the two of pentacles tells me that how they feel about you is the only way that they can feel truly at peace is if they are with you, okay, there's something very powerful in this justice energy, um, they could be an earth sign, strong Libra, also Gemini, Aquarius. But we've also got the pentacles energy here with the two of pentacles and the, you know, the very turbulent water in the background of the two of pentacles representing they may have water in their, in their, in their chart somewhere. They could even be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, we've, got, we've got all the elements. And what I'm getting here is the instability that they are feeling when it comes to you. Like, literally, their feet are not even touching the ground here. Um, there's something that's preventing them 
from being able to come towards you, okay? So let's immediately take a look at this past position. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this can represent very much the energy of somebody having to do some inner work because this Eight of Pentacles, this person on this card, they're working by themselves, okay? So there's something here to do with inner work. It could also literally be, when we look at the card, we see the workplace scenario. This person could be somebody that you work with. They could even be your boss. It may be <clears throat> sort of disallowed. <clears throat> that sort of a thing, okay? Um, their energy towards you, the two of wands, they are fixated on you, okay? Absolutely. As much as you are fixated on them, they are fixated on you. You could both be fire signs. Leo Aries Sag. Okay. So it's all under wraps right now. That's the strong energy that's coming through. Okay. But the feelings are mutual. And they are working on themselves. Okay. Um, oh, we've got the Empress. So th this is incredible. Like I just said, that the, the, the feelings are mutual. We have the Empress in that energy here with the black and gold right away deck and the, your energy towards them, the Empress. So whenever I see the Empress energy, I see, <clears throat> I also see a certain time of year, August, September. Okay, so that may be significant for what's going to happen in the future, what has transpired between you two. Okay, um, this is also the card of fertility. You two could ha even have children together. Um, let's continue the chariot decisions, decisions, but choices internally have already been made here on both sides. Okay. That's abundantly clear, abundantly clear. So let's take this card going forwards. Page of pentacles. So there is the energy here of in the immediate future, um, tentative moves towards each other. Tentative. Okay. Um, let's take three more going forwards. Ace of Swords, King of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. This is very, very positive, okay? The Ace of Swords is about clarity. It can be about conflict. It's always double-edged. But with the King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, this is about a maturation. This is about a mutual understanding. And the Three of Pentacles is about the teamwork. It's about that face-to-face -face energy that came out right at the beginning of the reading. Okay, so it's really positive. So I'm going to go ahead and take this outcome card now. Before I do so, I do just want to quickly mention, um, if you have found this reading helpful, I will be eternally grateful if you could right now give it a thumbs up. Um, it just helps. It helps my, you know, reading get out there. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm and um, therefore... It helps me and it also helps this reading reach more people, okay? Um, so, having said that, I'm now going to take this outcome card. Let's take a look. So, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, the Knight of Pentacles represents this kind of like stability. Because there's something very, very reliable about the Knight of Pentacles. But it can also represent time and patience, okay? So it's kind of like slow and steady wins the race here with this connection between you two. Um, I'm just very drawn to this incredible three of pentacles going forwards. So let's take a look at this card now. Yes, yeah, shadow. So, you know, right now everything may just feel almost sometimes to you, it may feel like it's not even real. But what this 
the you know the big energy that's coming through here that this is mutual okay how you feel about them is how they feel about you so that is how they feel okay it's mutual incredible so i'll leave that one there and i'm now going to move on to set of cards number two Okay, so right now I'm moving on to this set of cards number two. What are his true feelings for me? So let's go ahead and first of all place these cards down. And this is an in-depth relationship reading for you too. Okay, um, so let's get these cards placed down. I just want to quickly mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of the details to book are in that description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal. And I do offer a reading with a 24-hour turnaround and that's seven days a week. So having said that, I really want to go ahead with this reading now. What are his true feelings for me? So you and your energies, him and his energies, your feelings towards him, his feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together and the outcome card never to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted and here is our clarifying card so let's go ahead you are represented by the hanged man so for you this you know the hanged man represents time and sacrifice and patience and waiting and observing and wanting that shift forwards but i feel that you are still you're truly holding out okay for this for this connection in whatever way that's resonating okay so your person being represented by the hermit let's now take a look at this past position seven of pentacles so the, again this this represents kind of like wanting things to work but it's taken time and it could be getting very frustrating right now, okay? I want to take three cards for this Hermit energy because this is the card of soul searching. So it can mean that this, you know, this person's gone deep within, your person's gone deep within and this is why you're being represented by the hanged man because you're waiting, you're watching and... To a degree, with this being in the past mutual position, it's kind of like it's both of your energy, okay? So, let's take three cards for them. Could there be a decision here? Are you waiting on a decision from them, okay? Let's take three more. Oh my goodness, the lovers. Well, be in no doubt of how they feel. This is, you know, incredible energy. They are in love with you. There it is. Okay. This can also represent a new connection. So for some of you, um, you've both been watching each other. You haven't commenced your connection yet. For others of you, there's something preventing you two from being together right now. Um, and I do have to say, it is it is very it is very intense. Whatever your scenario is, I feel the intensity of it. Okay. Yeah, nine of swords. So, I'm getting a strong indication here. Your person may be too scared to open truly up to the fact that they've fallen in love with you. And they're in love with you. 
but they're too scared to commit because of previous hurts, okay? For others of you, I'm getting that there's a decision and you've been waiting for that decision, okay? Knight of Pentacles. Right now, they're just agonizing over you instead of taking action towards you, okay? Now, I have to say, this was in the outcome position of set of cards number one. So, we seem to be having themes at the moment. Happened in yesterday's reading as well. Um, repeat, kind of like all the way through. Um, so, let's continue. The strength energy. The, there is something strongly about truly being all in and open up to the fragility of what that entails when you give your heart to somebody but be in no doubt that they love you um now i'm also getting this decision based energy okay i want to take two cards for this strength card Hierophant, something to do with their stability. This could be third party, and they're they're in conflict, but it's you that they love, and you desperately want to contact them right now. Okay, um, there could even be no contact right now because we've we've got the Queen of Cups in the center. This is representing the want and desire to heal. But it's also very nurturing. It just tells me even more so that the love exists between you two. Oh, and there it is. So there could be no contact. Okay. Um, whatever the scenario, there is a deep heart connection here between you two going forwards with this incredible Six of Cups. Okay. So be in no doubt of their feelings towards you. It's real. Okay. Now I'm going to take this outcome card. Um, I do just want to quickly mention, if you have found this reading helpful, I would be so, so grateful if you could give it a thumbs up right now. Um, I'll just give you a moment to do that. Um, you know, it tremendously helps my channel and it also really helps uh, YouTube, you know, suggest it to other people. And so it reaches more people, which is great. So um, let's go ahead with this outcome card. So we have the Queen of Wands. This is really, really good because this is about confidence. This is about passion. Um, this is about um, confidently uh, taking on challenges and overcoming obstacles and kind of like being the best version of yourself, okay? And it's about being true to yourself as well, you know? Um, so I do really, really like this in the outcome position. So let's take a look here, manifestation at even better. Um, they, I, I do feel things are manifesting truly here for you to go forwards. It's an incredible reading. So there we go. I'll leave that set of cards number two there. And now I'm going to move on to set of cards number three. Okay, so right now. I'm moving on to this set of cards, number three. What are his true feelings for me? So this um, will be an in-depth relationship reading for you two. So let's first of all get these cards placed down. I do just want to quickly mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of the details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal. And I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours, and that's available seven days a week. So having said all of that, let's go ahead with this reading now. What are his true feelings for me? So you and your energies, the devil energy. So very clearly, okay, um, when, when I see the devil energy in a relationship reading, straight away, it comes through so strongly as the lovers are having a really, really difficult time right now. Okay, you just look at what the lover's card looks like in the ride away and then you look at the devil and they are literally the same. 
um, just like slightly different, okay? Um, so this is the card of um, having a tough time, okay? You're having a tough time. Um, there may be, it may go deeper than that, clearly. Uh, we will look into that. Um, let's take a look. King of Pentacles in that energy. This is strong, strongly um, representative of the want and desire to manifest, okay? Some of you, they're your, they're, they are your boss. That's for some of you. Um, now, I want to take this card also, that energy to, oh, there it is, the lover's energy. Um, incredible feelings towards you, the lovers, and there now you can see just how similar these two cards are. So, um, now for some of you, there's a reason why you feel like you should be letting go right now, okay. So, let's take a look at this past position. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, they've really, really let you down. Okay. I do feel that. But what you need to know is that they, that they love you. Okay. They want to be with you. But there's something inside of you that's had to struggle because of this connection. Okay. Um... Let's take, let's take some cards for you. I want to take some cards for you and some cards for this past position. So let's take two cards for you. And some cards for this past position. Three of Cups. So straight away I get that this connection could have been on, off and on. Okay. It's kind of like you feel like it's going in the right direction. There's a reunion. You get back together. But then all of a sudden you find yourself struggling by yourself. Okay. Um, High Priestess. Um, so this can be about things that are hidden. Okay, you may have found out, even possibly now this is just for a, a small amount of you, but you may have found out that there was somebody else around them, okay, um, and now they want you back, because they strayed, you need to know it didn't mean anything, okay, um, six of pentacles, they, they haven't given you enough, okay, they need to work harder, so what I'm getting here is the feelings from them towards you, very, very clear, very, very strong. They do love you, but they need to give you more. They need to show you more. They need to go away, work on themselves. So whenever we do see the devil energy, quite often we have to do, we do have to look, look deeper into it and see if any true guidance is coming through with it. And on this occasion, what I am seeing is if this has been on and off or if they have let you down, okay, that right now, uh, and they haven't given you enough in whatever way that resonates, you do need to step away now because that's what the devil energy is about. It's about, um, you know, cutting the cords, even if it's just for a time. Um, because they need to realise where they've gone wrong here and they need to make, make it better. But that truly starts within themselves because it's no point in them telling you that everything's going to be different and that they're going to change or that, it, you know, even maybe lying to you here. Um, you want to see the real work. You want to see the proof, okay? And it's going to take a lot to prove. Um, three of Wands. You see, you're, you're literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. Part of you wants to completely step away because you feel like that's the only answer. But the other half of you wants to do everything that it takes, okay? With this Three of Wands. Um, I do feel that they've got a lot to prove to you now, okay? Uh, let's take a look. Seven of Swords. So this is the theft energy. So, you know, 
it's almost like you both feel like this connection has been stolen, but it's something that they did very clearly that's created this, okay? Um, let's take a look going forwards. Oh, incredible. So for some of you, it's kind of like there's been a lack of commitment on their side and you've, you've stepped away. And what we've got in the future, regardless of the scenario, however, we do have the Ace of Cups. This can truly be about a, an actual proposal of marriage, okay? Now, it's with the lovers, you know, the King of Pentacles, the lovers, this can also just be simply about new love that hasn't actually happened yet. And so that, you know, whatever the scenario, because there will be many, but what we've got going forward is the Ace of Cups. It's about a serious proposal. Very, very positive, okay? Very positive. A way forward. Um, so I'm going to take this outcome card now. Before I do, I just want to, uh, you know, politely ask, I would be so grateful if you could give this reading a thumbs up because, um, you know, it really does tremendously help me. Um, so I'll just give you a little moment to do that now. If you could, thank you. Um, just helps me, you know, get recommended and then helps me, my channel, and then also it helps uh, the reading get further afield to more people who may appreciate it. So let's take this outcome card now. So we have, oh my goodness, the Wheel of Fortune in the outcome, the card of destiny, the card of fate. Um, the universe wants you to know there's a time and a place for you to, okay? It may seem difficult now. And what you have to do right now may feel difficult, stepping back, but it's it's part of the journey, okay? And it's part of their journey also. Um, so we have, yeah, because what we need here is a foundation, a firm foundation. And what I'm getting here for many of you, it's a case of, if there is no firm foundation, which is what this Ace of Ace of Cups is truly representing, then you will have to step away. And you must stand firm, okay? Because it's this very thing that could truly um, set the, the wheels in motion for their inner growth, okay? And, the, and everything to do with your connection together. It's really beautiful. So... Uh, there we go. Um, I'll leave the reading there. Um, I'd be so grateful for that subscribe as well uh, if you found the reading helpful. And as I say, I do offer uh, readings uh, seven days a week with a turnaround time of 24 hours. I also offer um, other types of readings as well. And all of those details are in the pinned comment and in the description box below. So I'll leave the reading there and I really hope that you found it helpful. Okay then, bye.